Hello neighbors, Tara Chisholm here, and we are gonna unpack the 2023 mid-year market report for Taos. Let's just start with the cold hard facts. The number of homes is down, excuse me, the number of homes sold is down 26%, while the number of homes for sale is up 28%. I'm sure you're wondering why, and we're gonna unpack that momentarily, but first, Everybody's favorite data point, the median sale price is up 2% to 495,000. Now I'm sure you've heard that the national market is showing signs of decline, and I'm here to tell you that Taos is outpacing the national market and remind you that real estate is hyper localized. And that's why we are committed to making sure that you understand exactly what's happening in your community. So why are sales down? Well, the buying frenzy fueled by the COVID-19 pandemic is over, and the rising interest rates have pulled some of the buyers out of the race, and that has in turn reduced buyer demand. Now, because buyer demand has leveled out a bit and the inventory has increased, buyers are feeling less rushed and they've become more discerning. They're willing to possibly lose out on an available house to wait and find the right house. This starkly contrasts what we've seen in the last couple of years. And as we dig into the data a little further, another point that really stood out is the number of price reductions. 37% of residential homes compared to just 13% last year sold after a price reduction. Now, this point helps us realize that the pricing strategy that was around during the pandemic doesn't work in this market anymore. You never get a second chance to make that first impression and relying on longer days on market with a price reduction is just not a strategy to really sell for the highest and best price. This is actually evidenced by the number of homes that sold less than asking price. A whopping 73% of homes sold for less than asking price. So this is a time where it is so important that you are working with a realtor who not only knows the market, but studies the market and has the ability to help you create a strategy that is going to work best for you. Now, I mentioned reduced buyer demand earlier, and why it, while it is less than it was during the COVID market, the buyer demand is still outpacing the inventory. That's why values are remaining so strong. And supply and demand, which drives everything, it differs from one price to another price. There are some areas of the market that are in a buyer's market and others area of the Taos market that are in a seller's market. And not only does the supply and demand change week to week, it is different in certain locations and it's different in certain property types. So if you wanna know what the supply and demand is for your particular home or your ideal home that you're looking to purchase, give us a call and we are happy to date into that with you. Finally, we have a lot more data to share with you, so please visit our real estate blog at chismgroup.com for all of the details. And if you have questions, give anyone on my team a call. And we are here to help you navigate the market by arming you with accurate information so that you are comfortable and confident in your decision. Thanks for hanging with me today, and I look forward to talking to you soon.